Hi, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my journey off social media and how it's going and just giving you updates as I go along, telling you how I feel, how it's been, at some point maybe why, like what sparked this coming offline. Now it's day five and I've deleted Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, and other platforms that I had previously deleted them, they have stayed deleted. All I have right now is WhatsApp, texting and phone calls, uh, YouTube, although I've disabled the comments so I can't write comments or view comments, and RuneScape because I still play old school RuneScape from like 2007. I'm watching my son right now and just making sure that he is behaving himself. He's playing with the Hoover, which is fine, but I'm just making sure that he's not going to injure himself. So if you keep looking that way, that's why. As of right now, I also have Pokemon Go, and that's because it's educating me on uh, Pokemon because my oldest son is really into Pokemon. And then I'm waiting to maybe, maybe, waiting to download Among Us just because it is a game that I have played with my sister before, and I thought maybe instead of like talking on text for some reason we could maybe play among us instead so just gonna wait and see if i can download that and then we'll see what happens <laughs> one second you're gonna be filming with me and now the ice cream man showed up it's, it's always so challenging when you're awake it is are you gonna film a video with me all right, I've moved. <laughs> yeah, to make it extra hard on myself, totally by accident, I yeah changed my internet from 100 gigs on my phone down to 12, um, only at the cost of four pounds a month, which is ridiculous, but it's fine. Um, and on the hope that the internet downstairs is gonna work, which is not right now, hence why I'm suddenly filming a video. It's been five days since I deleted it all and it was sparked by like quite a big breakdown. I don't want to go into detail in this video but just explaining this has how I've ended up with this sudden social media break. Is it wise to cut out your social media when you're in the middle of a breakdown? I don't know. I guess it depends on how you do it and uh, if you have any tools to help. I'm really proud of how I did it. I made sure that I got all the contacts they have on social media onto my phone so I can still contact people via WhatsApp. However, I didn't have enough tools to be able to distract myself. I don't know if I should share this. Um, I ended up self-harming. And... <coughs> needing someone to stay over, basically, which is... is is this oversharing? I don't know, but it's the truth. It's... One second. This is so hard. I am an addict on social media. Before my little baby was born, he's now 18 months old. He's now distracting me again. As you can see, it, I can't make a video without being distracted. Uh, what would you like? Harvey? Yeah? Would you like Harvey? Would you like to do a film? Hello. Prior to this one. Hello. Oh, do you like Harvey? Oh. He loves this photo of my oldest. Uh, he's just constantly, Hello. constantly wants it. It's impossible to film a video for YouTube because he just wants all of my attention all of the time. Um, but this has been very helpful in coming off social media because I'm distracted during the day. Prior to having my little toddler here, I was on my phone perhaps 18 hours a day straight and only stopping when I was forced into a shower or forced to have something to eat or I was forced to go to school, so maybe like 12 to 18 hours a day. And then I somehow from like the ages of 16 to perhaps 20 was on my phone maybe 14 to tw 12 to 14 hours a day 
Um, and then I got it down to about eight hours a day somehow. I think it's because I got a job. Um, and I stopped playing all these games that I was playing uh, and started to read again. I had him and I was on my phone from four to six hours a day. And then at this point, I had him as a distraction and I was also utilizing lots and lots of digital minimalism stuff, which was really helpful. And then we've come to now where I am severely triggered and obviously was coming away feeling even worse than, you know, when I started. Although I wasn't scrolling on Instagram, I was still uploading, I still was following people even though I wasn't following everybody. The same with Facebook, I wasn't uploading so much but I was going into groups that perhaps weren't helpful for me. And although I wasn't following or having been friends with like 2,000 people, which I used to, I did get it down to about 300 and then down to about 50 and then most recently down to 25. I was still going, I was still looking at people's posts and then I was getting upset by people's posts. Um, recently, for example, someone I know, I won't mention their names, uploaded someone who was essentially an expeditionist and I was just like, you can see a bit of paper on the wall. Please ignore that, that is part of my therapy. It was just a cluster, a cluster of things. I got heavily triggered in therapy on Tuesday. I found out that someone I knew was dying um, and it was very touch and go. Hopefully they're on the mend, but I don't know. The outcome is still unknown. Everyone I knew, apart from one person, no, two people who I'm seeing regularly uh, have gone on holiday. So I didn't have my support system around. And it was just a whole ball of things. It was like, whoa, I need to get off my phone. I need to get off my phone. I need to get rid of... It was like that. I just was like, mm, and it was like, whoa. Yeah, no. So I, yeah, I got off my phone. And it's been five days. So it has been five days since I came offline. The first day was very, very hard because I was like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't have any stationery. I don't have any journaling. The books I do own, I'm just like, I don't want to read them. Um, I was feeling really down, so I didn't even want to play with my little boy. I had no cooking because I had no food. I was just feeling very like, I have all this time, what do I do? And then the second day I was like, okay, maybe I should probably get some food in. I should probably address my mental health crisis and start writing things down so that when I'm in crisis again, I don't forget things because I was also forgetting things. Um, I didn't pick up a book at this point. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's just go back to basics. I'm in a mental health crisis. I've just deleted all this stuff on social, I've just deleted my social media, what do I do? So I was like, okay, self-care. Let's suggest self-care. Let's get this out of the way. Which I don't know if it's a thing that everyone will go through when they delete social media, because for some people like with an addiction like mine, that was like up to 18 hours a day, um, whether or not that is something people forget to do, I guess, they must do if they're playing that long. Um, so I spent the day, well, I made my dad go and buy loads of food, filled the fridge, had a shower, catch up on sleep, interacted a little bit with this little one. Um, and then I just did simple things like taking out the trash and cleaning the cooker and just trying to focus on the house as much as I could really, and then myself. And then on the third day, I think it was really chilled. We went to a group in the morning and then in the evening when he had gone to bed and my thoughts were starting to really reoccur because on the second day they did, but not so much like the previous days. I spent two hours playing RuneScape with my friend who I played RuneScape with back in the day in 2007. And that filled my cup so much. I think if we were just chatting, like it, like texting on Instagram, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have filled my cup so much as much as when we were video calling and playing a game at the same time. And she introduced me to part of the worlds I've never been to, so that was really exciting. Um, bringing life to the game, which is really good. 
And then Saturday I spent the whole day out with my oldest, which was really lovely. We went to this little green area um, and it was okay, but he had a party to go to. So obviously he was just like, I want to go to this party. I want to go to this party. I also then landed Pokemon Go at this point. So I was like playing Pokemon Go on the journey there and back. So again, my mind was busy, but it wasn't on social media. So it was on something that like got me outside, kept me outside and like was helping me to learn stuff with like my oldest. And then yesterday I focused on doing all the chores. I leave till Sundays, every Sunday. Did two more hours, I think, playing with the, my friend. And then we did a two hour walk of Pokemon Go, basically. And he was asleep, which was really nice. I went to bed early and that was really nice. And I've also discovered as well that my bed is not as comfortable as the floor. Where was something I always used to do in mental health crises, so. This is like a mixture of like five days of slight mental health crises and decluttering social media. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm going to make a note of it anyway. Um, because maybe when we're two weeks into no social media at all, um, or a month into no social media at all, or a six months into it, maybe, I don't know if I'm going to last six months. I mean, if I can last a month offline, that'd be great, but we'll see. Good timing, Harry. Good timing. <laughs> He's just broken a bit of the book. We noticed how he he just he, he he reacts to what I'm saying in in a really bizarre way. Are you proud of yourself now? See the thing about being a mistress, when you break things, mummy doesn't care because it's not that important. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Are you excited? Oh! You just hit me. Oh!